Hi, my name is Jim Bala. I'm the Snowdog Tech at Byers Products. Today's video, we're going to be checking the power that goes to the coil, the coil itself, and why it triggers the controller to flash. First thing, we want the proper tools. We have a 12 volt test light, a multimeter, and a small screwdriver. Now that you have the proper tools, we're going to power up the controller, see if it's flashing. Right now it's flashing two times, which means it's my blue wire, my SA valve. So I'm going to put it into the float position. You see the float light comes on, and now we're going to go check it out at the power unit. Now what you want to do is take the cover off so we can inspect the coils. Now you want to grab your test light and hook it to a good ground. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the blue wire and see if we're getting power to the coil. And as you can see, we're getting power to the coil. Now I'm going to gra grab the multimeter <clears throat> and check the voltage at the coil because the coils need over 9 volts to operate correctly. Again, good ground. And I'm going to check the blue wire. And it looks like it comes out to 10.78 volts. Now I'm going to take the screwdriver and we're going to check magnetism with it. We know we have power going to the coil and the coil needs over 9 volts to operate and we have over 10. So we want to check magnetism at the nut and I am not feeling any magnetism right now, so most likely the coil is bad. Now that you check the down coil, to check the up and the angle right valve, you're going to need someone else in the truck pressing the controller to power up the up valve. This way we can check the green wire and pressing the angle right to check the orange wire. If we didn't have power at the coil when we first checked it, the next step would be checking the grill connector. And this will be the one that has the two large pins in it. The two large pins are for the motor and all the little pins are for the coils. What you want to do is check for corrosion. Um, each pin has a spring cage on it. You got to make sure all the cages are there and they're not damaged. So after you check the plow side harness, the next step will be to check the truck side harness. And make sure you have your test light with good ground. And the harness you'll be looking for would be the one with the two large holes. Now those two large holes are for your plow motor, your ground, and your, your positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the littler holes for the, those two flashes. Let's just see if we're getting power. And right there, I know this is the down one. This is why it lit up. So we are getting power to the grill connector. So if you're not getting power at the coil or at the grill connector, the next place I'd be looking at would be where you plug the controller in. This would be inside the cab, most likely under the dash. So what you want to look for is any wires that are pushed out, any pins that are pushed out. Same thing on the controller side or the adapter side. Look for pins that are bent or pushed out. There are some tips on how to check a coil and power going to the coil. And this is the same on a V-plow and an XP. Of course, this was the straight blade, but all coils are kind of tested the same. Sometimes you need someone to help you. Other times you could, you know, probably do it by yourself. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, check out our website at buyersproducts.com or give us a call. And happy plowing.